What's going on you guys? It is day two of this tournament. There is a 250K guarantee. Hopefully I do well, hit that intro. Cheers. With the guy Branson, who has the Branson poker logs. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> Tell him he's got a lot of class and it's all low. It is day two of this $560 buy-in tournament at the Bicycle Casino. There's 145 of us left competing for the title of who's the best poker player, aka who's the luckiest person in the room. I got $500 back for making day two, but I'm not here for those peanuts. I'm here for the $61,275 going to first place. Unfortunately, the average chip stack is 200 k and I'm starting day two with 91 k so I have a bit of work to do. A few orbits go by until I pick up ace-queen of spades in the big blind. The hijack limps, but the cutoff decides to pull down his pants and show everyone just how big his cojones are. He makes a sizable raise to 30000 and it folds to me. Well, <laughs> you don't make it to 30 years old without seeing a few Quack. balls. I ain't scared. I am all in for 71000 The hijack folds. Cajone man calls. He turns over the lucky snowman. Pocket eights. It's a 50-50 flip. I just hope it goes my way. Board runs out. 9-5 jack. Come on, ace. Come on, queen. Turn eight. Painful. But at least I picked up flush and straight outs. I'm thinking spade, spade, spade. No, 10 of clubs. Wait a minute. That gives me a straight and I find the double up. Two hands later, I get upgraded to ace king of hearts on the button. The low jack limps. I raise to 14k. The big blind calls the 14k. And then the low jack re-raises to 100k. It's our same Kahone man from before. All right, let's go. I'm all in for 150k. Kahone man calls. He has pocket fours. But I flop an ace and hold. And I double up once again. Now I have a real stack to work with. And I pick up ace queen off in the low jack. I open to 9k. The small blind calls. And then... Wouldn't you know, Cajone Man raises once again to 55k from the big blind. Man, he is my nemesis, my rival. I think about all three options, calling, raising, folding. So I just won two all-ins against him after he raised big, but yet he's willing to do it again? I don't know. Ace-queen is a good hand, but I have a bad feeling about this one. I fold, the small blind goes all in for 140k. Cajone man calls, the small blind had a shocking 10 jack offsuit, but Cajone man had ace king, and just like that, we avoided a big bullet. A bit later, I'm dealt ace three of hearts in the big blind, under the gun opens to 12k, the low jack calls, I don't like three betting against early position opens very often, so I make the call and we're three ways to a flop of ace, nine, ten, rainbow. Top pair, not bad. I check. The under the gun bets 12k. The low jack calls. I think the only real decision here is to call and the turn comes the six of hearts. This gives me a backdoor flesh draw, but one thing of note is that it also completes the straight for seven, eight. I check. The under the gun continues firing for 25k. The low jack calls. I make the call again, and we're off to a river, which is the four of hearts. Let's go. I have the nuts. The under the gun was willing to bet into two people on the flop, then bet again on the turn. I'm hoping he's really strong. So I'm looking to check raise. I check, and sure enough, the under the gun bets 45k. The low jack folds, but I take all my purple chips and raise to 200k. It might be a bit big, but my opponent has over a million chips, and I'm trying to target sets and two pairs. He thinks about it, but unfortunately folds. Maybe I could have gotten extra value if I made a smaller raise. I don't know. What do you guys think? Next, I get 5-7 of spades in the big blind. The under the gun plus one raises to 21k. Action folds to me, and I defend my blind with a playable hand. Heads up to a flop of 4, 6, 10, rainbow. I check, and my opponent bets 35k. I'm holding an open-ended straight draw. Plus, he shouldn't hit this board too hard, opening from early position. So I raise to 100k. I'm hoping for a fold, but 
he makes the call, and we're off to a turn, which comes the deuce of spades. Not the straight, but I do pick up a flesh draw to go with my straight draw. After he called my raise on the flop, I'm putting him on a lot of over pairs, maybe ace 10. Meanwhile, I'm mostly representing sets, so <laughs> I bet 140k, trying to look like I'm targeting him for value, setting up for a river jam, but really, inside, I am praying that he folds, he thinks, then eventually says, I guess you have a set, and folds, later telling me he folded pocket jacks let's go i'm on a high everything seems to be working out for me and i pick up the lovely king queen suited in the cutoff under the gun plus two limps so i raise it up to 25k and both the small blind and under the gun plus two limper make the call the flop comes out king nine deuce with two clubs an absolute monster flop for me the action checks to me and i put out a small c bet of 25k only the small blind calls, now we're heads up to a jack on the turn. The small blind checks, and I actually don't really like this jack. One of the major hands I could get value out of betting turn and river would be king jack, which would now have two pair. It also completes a gut shot for queen 10, so I decide to slow down and check, evaluate a river, realize my equity, and the river comes an off suit 3. Now, the small blind goes all in for 441,000 chips. Honestly, I'm shocked, but if my opponent, an older gentleman, is jamming for three times the pot on the river, I can't imagine a world where I'm ahead, so as pretty as my hand is, I let it go and move on. Fast forward to level 9. I've been slowly accumulating chips. I have a million now. I pick up 810 of hearts in the big blind. Action folds to my friend Nick in the small blind who decides to limp. I do not limp. I raise to 70k. I'll gladly take a fold or play in position with a decent hand. Nick makes the call. We're heads up to a flop which comes ace, king, deuce with two hearts. Nick checks. This board definitely favors me as I can have aces, kings, and ace, king, while Nick can't. So, with my flush draw, I make a small c bet of 55k. Well, Nick takes my 55k, shoves it back in my face, and raises to 130k. Action's on me. The standard play here is a call, but I do know Nick likes making moves, and the only super strong hands he should have are ace deuce and pocket deuces. Meanwhile, I think he's making this move with a lot of ace x hands. I decide to 3-bet to 300,000 chips. It's super rare to see a 3-bet post-flop this late into a tournament. I'm trying to represent a big ace or a set. Ideally, I'd just like him to fold, but if he calls, I'll most likely be able to get to the river without putting any more money in to see if I hit the flush. Well, he does not fold. He does not call. He goes all in for 880,000 chips. And now, I'm miserable. It's 580k more to call for a pot that will total 1.9 million. I need roughly 30% to make this call, which is about what I'm getting against ace deuce and pocket deuces. But... It's also my tournament life. <sighs> I let it go, but you want to know the sickest part? Later, Nick told me he had ace 10, so he absolutely owned me. What once was a confident Branson on top of the world is simply not there. I move tables and pick up a7 off in the small blind. It folds around to the button who goes all in for 235k. It's less than 10 big blinds at this point, so I think a7 is good enough to fight against the range of hands he's shoving with. I go all in for my 650,000, just to have to get the big blind to fold, which he does. Unfortunately, the button has a10, the board runs out, and I'm not able to get lucky this time. So now I'm short stack, I'm looking for a good spot, and I get ace queen on the button. The low jack opens to 55k, then the cutoff goes all in for 470k. He has me covered, it's for my tournament life. Here we go, I go all in for my 360k, and everyone else folds. The cutoff flips over ace jack, this time I'm the one ahead, the board runs out clean, and I'm back in the game. 
Alright, I have a playable stack again and pick up King 10 off in the hijack. I open to 55k, the button calls, and we're heads up to a flop of King 10, 8, 2 spades. Let's go. I flop two pair. There are a ton of draws and other hands to get value from. I bet a little less than half pot. 75k, and the button makes the call. The turn comes the three of spades, not loving that a possible flush comes in, but I do have the king of spades, which helps. I slow down and check, and now my opponent bets 150k. I can't fold. I debate raising here, but end up just making the call, and the river is the deuce of hearts. It doesn't really change anything. I check, and my opponent goes all in. He has me covered, so it's for my remaining 560,000. It's very uncomfortable. He's pretty much repping a flush or a set, so my two pair is pretty much just a bluff catcher here. I do block pocket tens, and having the king of spades blocks a lot of flushes. It's also one of the strongest hands I'll ever have when I take this line. Okay, please be bluffing. I make the call. And he shows Jack, queen of clubs. <laughs> Let's go. I find a massive double up. The very next hand, I pick up Jack, queen of hearts in the low jack. I open to 55k and the opponent I just faced goes all in from the cutoff for 235k. It folds back to me. I need around 33% equity to make the call. I think I'll have that with Jack Queen suited. I call. He has a seven off. Let's knock this guy out. The board comes out ace, six, nine with two hearts. It's a sweat. I need to hit a heart, but a heart does not come and I lose the flip. I'm not discouraged. I have plenty of chips still and I pick up ace queen off in the small blind. The under the gun opens to 55k. The low jack calls. I'm definitely going to be three betting from the small blind here. I make it 225k. Only the under the gun calls and we're off to a flop of ace three jack with two spades. I bet 200k and my opponent quickly folds. Then I'm in the hijack with king 10 of diamonds. The under the gun plus one opens to 60k and I'm looking to keep on the aggression. Pick up more chips so I take the spicier line of three betting to 180k and the under the gun plus one makes the call. The flop comes out ace eight six with two clubs. I C bet 175k. He folds, and once again, I pick up a nice pot. I now have 2 million chips. We're well into the money. From 91k at the start of today, this is going very well, and I pick up ace queen in the small blind. The under the gun goes all in for 355k. Action folds to me. Ace queen is a strong hand. I make the call, and we're off to a run out. He shows king queen. I'm in amazing shape. Until the flop comes 9-10 jack. He flops the straight. Come on. These flips are just so important to win in tournaments, but oh well, that's the way it goes. That's life. <laughs> Moving on, I pick up ace jack of spades on the button. The under the gun opens to 70k and I choose to just call in position and see a flop. We go heads up to a flop of queen 10 6 rainbow. The under the gun puts out a C bet of 75k. I have a gut shot, a backdoor flush draw. I think it's a pretty clear call. And the turn comes the six of spades. I pick up the flush draw now. So when my opponent bets 160,000, I think I have to call again. Hopefully hit a river, but the river comes an offsuit four. Interestingly, my opponent checks, and now I'm thinking. I feel like if he had a queen, uh, he would have likely bet on this river. I beat most of the missed draws like king jack, jack nine suited, eight nine suited, but I'm still losing to ace king, any pocket pair or a 10. I decide to go for the bluff, betting 250,000 chips, but my opponent quickly calls with ace queen and I feel pretty stupid. I definitely should have checked back. I think making this bluff with king jack would have been better, but with ace jack, I just have a lot of showdown against his misdraws, so it's just not worth it. All right, I get ace jack again, this time in the low jack, and I open to 85k, a little more than two times the blind. The button calls were heads up to a flop of ace three eight with two hearts. Great flop for me, but I decide to play it a little tricky and check. The button does not check. He bets 135k and I make the call. 
turn is an interesting one, the Ace of Hearts. It gives me trips, but it also completes the flush, so I check it over to my opponent to see what he'll do. He bets 250k now, and I make the call again. Hoping for a jack or the board to pair, or at least no more hearts, the river comes in offsuit 6. It doesn't change anything. I check, and my opponent bets 300k. It's less than a third of the pot. He could be bluffing or going for value with a weaker ace since I checked the flop. Okay, I make the call, but he shows ace queen for the bad news. He had us beat the entire time. Oh boy, zero to hero, two zero again. I'm able to pick up the blinds a couple times with some shoves, and I do make it to day three, the final day, with 550,000 chips. There's only 19 people left out of the original 770. First place takes over $60,000. I'm a short stack, but anything can happen. Stay tuned for my next video for the conclusion of the tournament. Thanks for watching. Like always, I'm Branson, and I'll see you in the next one.